that's the there we go. <laughs> the next cast jar on fire. We're all crappie. Look at him come out. Guys, we're using a blue hair jig tipped with the minnow. I'd prefer to have a medium to small, but that's all they had. There's our setup. Oh, I had a bite that fast. Did you? Yep, right in front of the boat. See him? He's going back in. He came out. Look at him. He came out for it. All right, y'all. We are on the board. First crappie of the trip. Beautiful black crappie. 11 and a half inches. Caught it on a hair jig tipped with a minnow. That's a keeper, dude. Yeah. You're under, you're under, you're under, you're under. Don't worry about mine. Get yours. Oh, I got him that time. Oh, he's a baby. Uh, he's a baby. <laughs> it's a crappie. Ah, that's about, what, eight inches? Yeah, pretty little. I want you guys to see what we're working with. That's what we're working with. Those are all crappie. Yeah. Now see if we can't catch any keepers. Pretty little black crappie. And once again, that was just a minnow on a wire hook. There we go. Oh yeah, get him. Okay, set the hook on him. Set the hook. Got him. That feels like a keeper. Bring him this way. Bring him over to your side. Yep. Oh yeah. That's what we're here for. That's here. a keeper. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. Look what Mikey got. This is what we came out here for. Let's get a measurement on him. Mikey, your fish is... Oh, you just got a hit. 12 inches. 12 inches. Which one? Just pulled it down twice. The inside one. Okay. Keep an eye on it. 12 inches, Mike. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. I think we have a combination. Yeah, look at all these. See them coming up? Yeah, I'm going to try and... I think we have a combination of bluegill and coffee. Yeah, I think the ones we ain't hooking are either babies or bluegill. <laughs> You're getting a bite on your outside bobble. You bumped it. You bumped there you go. Got him. That's a keeper. Oh, flip. Flip him in. Beautiful. <laughs> Good job, Jim. Good job. Yeah, the bobber seems to be, that's going to be the method that they want, yep. guys. That's what they want. Beautiful. Sometimes. Just got to find the right method. Right technique. He came off the top and smacked it. Awesome. Look at that, guys. Yep. All it took was us turning the camera off. The minute you turn the camera off on one of your fishing videos, the fish start biting. <laughs> Needless to say, some of these crappie are camera shy. That is phenomenal. Got him. <laughs> that fast. You're fine. Thank you. Bring him this way. Okay. Okay. Set your pole over. Yeah. There you go. Get mine there. There's your fish. Got him? Mm hmm. Let's see if you can keep him uh. not. He's going to be close. Nope. Oh, he's an eighth inch shy. Well, that's me. I just popped mine. Oh, I got a fish following it. Do I have him? Yeah, I got him. That's a crappie. And that's right beside you. That's a crappie. <gasps> and look, those are crappie. See them on the bottom? Um, they came up and they went back down in there. Here he comes. Got him. Oh, he... No, I, I still got him. I still got him. He's on. And that's the one. The one I caught last time. Right got one. All right, give me... You hit it. Be a bigger one. Be a bigger one. Guys, we just doubled up. Black crappie. And I don't think either one's a no. But, but we just caught two right off the bat. 
Check that out, y'all. Nice and dark, huh? <laughs> Little guys. Make a good logo. <laughs> All right, fella, go grow up. Go tell the bigger ones we want to catch them. Yeah, I, I go to pick my pole. I'm like, hey, the fish on it. Yep. Getting a couple of keepers off of each brush pile and then rotating. Yeah. That's the way to do it. You can. Uh, do you? Uh, uh, uh. Is that a keeper? I felt that. Oh yeah, bring him, bring him over. Oh yeah. I felt that though. Catch is a catch, brother. <laughs> Look at that. What you got there, Mikey? I think we got our first keeper black crappie, I think. I think, I think, I think. We're about to find out. I don't know. If he is, he's just barely legal. <laughs> no. Nine and three quarters. That's what, three? We caught three and I we missed two. You've caught. You caught two. Er, yeah. Yeah, you've caught one, two, two. And then I caught, caught I caught one and then that one popped off. So we've caught four crappie off of this brush pile. You see it come That's up? a keeper. Bring him to me. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Yes. That's the first one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Flipping yes. All right. Mikey just caught that, y'all. And then this literally popped out of its mouth. Got him? Yeah. Guys, Mikey good. just caught that one. Beautiful. Look how thick that is. Okay. This one is... 11. 11. Yep. 11 exactly. What a guess. First keeper of the day. Finally. And if we get enough of these today on the Arrigo Outdoor Adventures channel, we'll be doing a, a catch and cook on crappie yes. for Mikey's channel. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Good deal. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. That was probably a blue gal because he went bam, bam. Yeah, you got him. Set the hook, set the hook. Got him. Oh, yeah. mm. Bring it that way. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. Oh, That's yes. A black crappie. Oh, yes, right. yes, yes. Good job, Mike. That's Look at that, guys. Better. That's what we barely came for. Look, the hook just fell right out. He was barely hooked. That is what we came for, y'all. Found another 11, 12 incher. <laughs> On the bobber. Or as the 903 likes to say, slip corking. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get a measurement from Mikey. We got as a, yeah, 11 and a half. All right. Okay, y'all. Yes. But that's also one of the things I like about crappie fishing is no two brush piles are the same. They, one school might want you to do a slow presentation. One might want you to do, a, you know. So if you're going to crappie fish, you're going to become good at it. You're going to have to learn all the techniques. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. You're going to have to learn the bobber and the jig. You're going to have to learn the beetle spins. Uh, you know, obviously our favorite is the slip bobber with the live minnows. Like, you got to learn all the techniques. But once you learn them, and getting to come out of them trees. Once you learn them, then you become so much better. Okay, the problem we're having, guys and gals. Is the way that this tree is set up is it's obviously a, a fairly new tree. Go. It's obviously a fairly new tree. All those branches. We're trying to cast above it, but in order to get them to hit it, you gotta drop it in there. And well, it's not easy. There's gonna be some snags. This has been a fun brush pile so far. So we've caught four, five, six, seven crappie. We've caught seven crappie, yes. If you pinch them. Right there behind the gills, you can hold them and they will not go in. Of course, you're trying to prove me wrong. You can hold them and they will not go anywhere. Pretty much paralyzes them. Here he comes. Got him. Got him? Yep. Oh, yeah. Boat flip. You got him. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> oh, 
I wasn't letting that one go. There oh, you, go. you can't do it from the from the bottom. There you go. Mm. Boat flip, y'all. That's how you do it. I watched him come right out and smack it. That was that cool. That was awesome. Beautiful. That's a keeper. I'm gonna say 11 incher. Let's yep. see how. Let's see how close we are. Eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. I saw him for not smash. Oh! Got him. Missed him again. Got him. I got him that time. Oh, oh I felt that. That's what. Oh, yeah. Bring it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. You don't want him, him to pop out. There you go. Got him? Yep. Nice. Yeah, they're coming right out. These are crappy that are biting it, dude. That's for sure. I'm gonna say about 11. Uh, he is. Ooh, 11 and a half, almost 11 and three quarters. Well, that was awesome. Yeah, that was. He bumped yours and then. Uh, they turned on a little bit. Got him chasing it. There's a whole school of them. Look at that. Mm hmm. Oh, your bobber. Get the bike. Oh, come on. Got, Got him. Oh, this is the big one of the day. Oh, 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 oh. please come back. Please oh. come back. Oh, oh, oh. Go put your put it under. Put it there. You go. Ah. Yes. Nice one, Mike. Oh, do you see how he? Barely? Dude, get your bobber and put it off the side of the. Go. You got a fish. Are you snagged? I got a fish. Do you? He's doubled up. Look at that, guys. We just doubled up. We just doubled up. That's a hog. We just doubled up. We just got it Dude, get that up. bobber and put it off the side of the boat. Yeah, he hit it right beside This might be my personal best. That's a nice one. That's a big fish, y'all. That might be my new personal best. I've never caught anything over 14 and a quarter. That's a beauty. <laughs> that was awesome. We just doubled up. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be that close. That is ah, 13, 13 and, three. and a half. No, three quarters. Yeah, 13 and three quarters. Three quarters. I'm gonna say mine's about 11. Yep. Yep, 11 inches, close enough. Got him, I felt bad yet. That's, That's a crappie, bring him this way. Yep, drag him across the top, bring him right across the top. Whoa! Got him. We got him. He came right out and slammed that one. Boom. Yes. See, guys, once again, Big because my camera was off last time, if you reach in there and you grab him like that, pinch his head, he goes pinch numb. Pinch your head, they go numb. They can't yep. do nothing about it. Good job, Mike. How'd you catch that one, Mikey? I uh, tossed it out and I let it pendulum down and I felt the thump. And what were you using? I'm using a little. 30 second ounce chartreuse hair jig with a black head right tipped with a medium sized minnow and just slow retrieve fast just retrieve. a slow re with a little split shot just letting it drift down about another 11 incher nice. maybe 12. we are looking at oh just shy of 12 inches barely shy of 12 inches there's a school of them down yep. there. Look at that. If we just keep casting, they'll keep biting. You know why fish are so smart? Because they're always in school. Because they're always in school. Got him that Got time. Got him? Yep. Got him. I got him. You got him? Okay. Yep. I don't think he's going to keep. Uh, that's, that's, I'm going to say he's 10. That might be wrong. Like I threw it all the way. All the way up in there. And look, man. and I could see my thing and I brought him and he came out and just slammed Shot it. Shot out and hit it. I don't know. I think he's going to be just short by about My half guess is 10. I could be wrong. 
Mm, I'm gonna say nine and three quarters. Yeah, he not he barely. He is nine and a half. Nine and a half. Inch. <laughs> See them all fall on it? See? They all came right out. So you just gotta throw it right over top of their heads. See? Here they come. They're gonna follow it up. Got them. See? Told you. I told you. Bring across the top. Now that's a keeper. It's probably right at 10. Grab him from the top. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Fell right out. Did you see yep. that? Da, 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 da. All right. That's what we're talking about. Yep, they're coming out of that brush pile. They're right in. First one of the day. Won't be the last, I can guarantee you that. Oh yeah, 10 and a, oh, nope. 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 Guys, that's right at 10, but yeah, if they get on ice it. and you get stopped. Yep, put them back. Here we go. Well guys, what you missed is on the very first cast on this new spot right off the bat he's not going to be a keeper though i can i can guarantee you that but we'll throw you up there just to look yeah about nine inches got him <laughs> as soon as it hit the water that's a little guy oh so you don't need a <laughs> yeah another little one little black crappy Got him. That's a crappie. Ooh, yeah. Crappie on the beetle spin. Keep it too. Got him. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Black crappie. Hey, fish anchor brother, this one's for you. All right. You say you're always catching them on the beetle spin. I said, well, you know what? We'll go try it. And absolutely smoked it. All right. Let's Look see. at that. Let's see. I mean, that's a beautiful black crappie. Yeah. Oh, look how fast they are. Mm -hmm. That is a 11 and a half inch crappie, y'all. And he hit that thing on the fall. It's actually a perfect little morning. It's not that cold. I'm a little farther out than I want to be, but right now, just trying to see how everything's running. There's a little bit of bait fish. There's some fish behind them. We're looking for people. They're look at them. They're chasing all bait fish. Our poles are about to go down. They have to look at all of those. Look at them all. That's a whole school of crappie right there. Come on. Those are crappie. Look at them all. That's what you want to see, people. Look at them all. If we just get him to bite. Look at that. See that? Yep, that's a school of crappie. Oh yeah, there's a school of fish right here. He slammed it, he hit it hard. Which Wait, pole was it? This front one, there, he's on there. Got him. Yep. Good deal, first fish of the day. Need a net, please. I got the net. What do we got? Oh, that is a, that's a crappie. It's a crappie. I know, but I need you to come on this side. Come on this side. Come around. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Got him. <laughs> Beautiful. On the Caps and Coleman. Yep. Minnow, right? Yep, on the minnow. Look Ooh. at that, y'all. That is definitely a keeper, but we will measure them just so you guys can see it. Yep. That is mouth closed. 11 almost 12 inches y'all yep. beautiful 11 three quarters once nice. again look how fat he is yep good healthy fish yay good job
now's a good time to tell you guys what we're doing if you look around the boat we got the poles out those are the 12 footers in the back we got some six foot six and a seven footer here in the front we are running on four of the poles the caps and coleman trolling rig this is the half ounce okay you can get them in different sizes or you can make your own and we are currently trolling in 18 foot of water and we got these about 10 to 12 foot deep Nice. Yep, Second net please. Today, trolling. Hold on, hold on. We're about to run over here. Got him. Here we go. Oh! He came off. Bummer. Yep. You want some? I'm good right now. I just had some Mountain Dew. Plus, I'm wired from catching the one crappie and almost having a second one. Man, oh man, oh man. I should have should have brought it in and worried about that later. Oh yeah, look at that. We're getting a little more activity now. I, I expect to start seeing some bites here pretty quick. Man, well, one on and one missed. I was ready with the net. Oh yeah, you were, yeah, you did everything. Like, here we go. You were ready. Yeah, Couldn't ask for. Pop, it probably wasn't hooked good right from the get go. Or it might've been a smaller. Might've been a little one. A yellow bass, a white bass. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's what we're looking for. A whole school of them. Yeah, look at that. Right there. Come on. See our line. Everybody, that's the joy of fishing. Is you know, don't ever lose that excitement. Don't ever turn it into a job. When you're out fishing and you're enjoying yourself and you're just having fun. That's when you'll notice you have your best fishing experiences. Well, that's the crazy thing about crappie. Once they transition, you got to go find them. Look at this. There were some right there, right in front of the boat. Here we go. Got him. Ah, oh, it's a little, little bass. Oh, little bass. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to your poles, though. He just a little fella. That's a middle bass. Yep. Just a little one, guys. <laughs> little guy. Okay, guys, that is two we've put in the boat. One bass, one crappie, and one that I had on a hook, but I was trying to control the trolling motor and it popped off, so that one doesn't count. But we are marking a decent amount of fish coming back through here in this in this creek. They're actually, if you look, they're all running off the bottom. I mean, I know you can't see a lot there, but they're popping up off the bottom. So. See what happens. We're gonna hook into them. That is what you're looking for when you're looking for uh, trying to find crappie. Look at all those bait fish. Well, somewhere in here, we're gonna find the crappie. It's just a matter of time and numbers. Hey guys, want to get once again the capsule Coleman delivered on the minnow. Come on out there, cooked them good. There we go, guys. Captain Coleman delivered again. What size is that bad boy, Mikey? He is. Uh, 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 uh. He is eleven and a half. Nice. Eleven and a half. Add him to the same size as the other one. Add him to the cool. Alright. That is the one part about trolling is uh oh look at the fish we're about to come over top top of. Look at that. Now I know you're looking on those aren't big fish, but guess what? Those are bait fish. And where you have bait fish, you have crappie. It's a patience game. What a perfect crappy day. What a perfect crappy freaking day. Uh, if every day could be a crappy day, right? Absolutely. So which which uh, color is this? What? This is the Palestine Special Bubble. Palestine. Oh, nice. Is this your specific brand you had, or design you had made? No, no. Because you fish on Palestine, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they just bonehead is 
base the uh, and Tyler, which is right over up there. So. Now let me see. Can you rig this either way? It's universal, or does it have yeah. to be a? It just basically what I'm I'm doing. I'll, I'll go through and then, yeah, I'll pop it out too early. Just pop it out the very end. Uh huh. Right there in the center, right? Yes, yeah, so where it's so sitting like that. Uh huh. Oh, well, he's a decent one. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's about 13, 14, huh? Probably so. Not going to be a winner. Beautiful white cloud. Look at this. Yeah, where it's spawning. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, they are. Oh, he's been caught before, here, huh? Yeah. Look at the mouth. What's going on with the lips there? Or your finger? Yeah, I don't know. Now, is this your favorite style of fishing? It is. Just to kind of snipe them? Yep. Now, do you cast past them or you just drop right on top of them? Drop right now, just drop right on top of them. Right. Thumbs up, guys. The fish love it. But don't put it in your mouth. I've tried that. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you always work from the top down? I do, yeah. Okay. If you take one from the bottom, it spooks them. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, those are roamers, but are those crappie? I don't know. We're gonna hold on. Yeah, yeah, go after them. Find out. Because that's a big fish. Here we go. He's looking at it. If you're looking at it, you wouldn't pull up. Got him. Good job. There you go. Y'all want to keep any of these? Uh, we didn't even think about it. Oh, that's not a monster. Good job, though. Nice black crappie. Yes, yes it is. Or as we'd say up north, crappie. <laughs> Well, guys, that shows you right there. Crappy. We dropped it down, and they didn't even look at it the first time. And then Chris puts the thump gel on there. I mean, he couldn't resist. I mean, that's a nice, pretty nice little thick one. Nice. Right Beautiful. Ooh. All right. You felt the thump hitting the gym. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all about feeling the thump, man. The problem with brush piles is you're not going to have a bunch of active fish in them. You can mm -hmm. have one or two, and that's it. Yeah, you just gotta get them and then move on to the next one. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Got him. Got him. Good job. Good deal. Beautiful. Now he's still not big, but they're fish, man. Yep. yep. And that's, uh, that's a white. That's, that's a white. white. Yep. Nice. Get a double in there. Absolutely. You want me to hang on to this one in case you get a second one? There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go right in the plug. Okay. Guys, that's what we are. You need to it in the pocket. That's what we are fishing for. You look down in there. You see those crappie? One there. He's following it. My grandfather was in World War I. Got him. Got him that time. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish. Oh, no. Uh, he's okay. Drag a little bit. Yeah, he's there not bad. Go. Caught him on your pole. That doesn't count as my catch. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Let's go ahead and keep a couple because I think uh, yeah. we may try to have a Where's fish your live well at? Yeah, dude. So hopefully it will be something that we. Oh, that is awesome. Did you just see that, Mike? Flick. Yeah. yeah beat down see. outdoors, guys. You can't beat that. Show do that again yeah. guys look how easy this is with the beat down outdoors you just push it out break away Quick and then and there it pull is. it out you just snap it back that in. Nifty. there's no easier stow and go than there than that mm -hmm. no i love these wow everything i have is beat down outdoors mount nice. that my back mount and it was simple enough that you were able to install it yourself oh, yeah. if you wanted to yeah, yeah i mean yeah. did you install it all yourself oh yeah yeah nice installed everything nice the yeah. ultimate be down outdoors. Nice. Having the right tools to go do the job sometimes is the biggest key. Okay, there's fish in here. I'm getting to come off the bottom, and they're following me up, and then they're just they're just not hitting it. Yeah, decent sized one. There's one moving right here in front of Mike. If he's not going to catch it, yeah, that's a crappie. That is a nice crappie. Dude, they're in here. Oh, oh, Swing oh, it in oh, here. Oh. That's a big old black. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's a, that's a white. Oh, or, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is a white. Yeah. Spawning white, yeah. 
Yeah. Can you see how dark it is? Yeah, it was right next to the log. Okay, let me move out of the way. I was probably a foot off the bottom. Dangle, 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 and boom. <laughs> Look at that. That's a beautiful one. You're not keeping any today? No, okay. no, go ahead. You want them? Oh no, we're good. Just got a spawning white crappie in about one foot of water. And we're using a bonehead tackle? Yep, bonehead tackle. It's a special <laughs> order. Special order. Yeah, he slammed it. Oh, he or she. We think it's a he. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. All right. So, okay. Awesome. Good job. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we yeah, go. you already got one on you. You got him that fast? Yep. Not very really big. But... Oh. They like popping off on you, don't they? Why didn't we set the hook on him? Yep. Not too many books. You want me to throw them back in for you? Yeah, 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 he looks good. There you go. Here he comes. Set the hook. Got him. That's a nice fish. Do you need net? Oh, that's. You want the net? Nope. Okay. Got him. That's a nice fish. Ah. Uh, it's all right. It's a little one. <laughs> uh, Come back here, buddy. Wow. Not what I was looking for. Oh, no, there you went. There you go. That is next cast fishing, and you saw what Chris does, guys. <laughs> Hold on. It, it, just, it's not the same thing. Let's just have a little fun. Oh, there's not even a, a measure on him. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's uh, Sorry, I had to put that on there. Oh, whoa, whoa, here we go. There you go. There's a hog. Got him. got him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Watch, watch yeah. You, you need the net? I did. Net. Uh, oh, dude, that's a monster, though. Oh, a Look at the size of the, Oh, black it's a black nose. nose. All right. Those are cool. Those are so cool. Hey, what did Matt it's say about black. you not being able to get the glow in the dark ones? Yeah. Oh, man, that thing was all. Look at that, y'all. Glow in that the dark. Beautiful. I'm used to. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Got him. You got a fish. Okay, bring him up. Oh, bring him around. Bring him on up. That's oh, that's, that's a nice one. Guys, Mike got one. Oh, Hi, and look buddy. at that. That's a big one. Of the, oh, Almost that's the big one of the day. Right in the nose. That's what you want. Push down. There. All right. Look All at right. that, guys. That's a beauty. About 13 inches. Big old fat female. Nice. Pregnant. Nice. Oh, yeah. You're going to pick them off right off the top. Look at that. Dropping right down to them, guys. Chris is showing you guys how to do it. Right on him. He, oh, he was already chasing you until you started doing that. He's still chasing it. He has to keep doing it because my line's tangled up up here. You got one coming from the left. There he is. Got him? Yeah, absolutely. Right. He got him. <laughs> Good job. Did you get him? Oh, oh sweet yeah. Jesus. Dang it, he oh, came off. oh okay. dude. It's okay. You know what? Back here. off of that brush pile. Yep. Something should hit some of this stuff. Something's got to hit something, oh right? My gosh, you would think so. There's fish all over the place. On the bottom, in the middle, towards the top. What, about eight, maybe nine? Yep. Right in by that brush. You're not getting out of my hand, brother. Guess you are. <sighs> Come here. Hmm. Not the size we're looking for, guys, but when you're crappie fishing, a crappie's a crappie. Beautiful. <laughs> he is nine and three quarters. Yeah, those are definitely crappie. There's a crappie fall on it. I know those are crappies, and I know they are. We of course they are. The I got like three of them on it. You see all these? Those are all crappie. Yeah, look at them all. Bring them in. That's a big old crappie. Bring them over here. Bring them over here. That's what we we're looking for. Finally, up there. Holy crap, people, look at this. I got him, finally. Finally, finally, finally. 
Hold on, it's hooked around this. Isn't it? Guys, that's about 14 inches. Thereabouts. I want you guys to see that's that. That's what we're looking for. Kenny's waving. Hey, hey guys. Let's get see your how measurement. big he is. <laughs> oh yeah, 14 inches. Nice. 14 inches exactly. Look at that. Look at all those. Yeah. Let's see what happened. Got him. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I felt that one finally. Just started pulling nice. on the line. Oh, yeah. That's another massive one. That's what we're looking for. It's a black crappie. Yep. Big old massive black crappie. Holy crappie. Holy shamoly. Oh yeah. Yep, that's on. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. Finally. Gosh. Oh look at that. Should I let him go? <laughs> I'm like, sitting here and I'm thinking, you know, on the screen we're seeing them over here. So I thought, well, I've had my bobber there forever and nothing hit it. I thought, like, well, maybe they'll hit the jig. Put it in and I felt pressure and I never felt something. I just started to feel like something was pulling it. 13 and almost, thir almost 13 and 3 quarters. Wow. Look at this, Mike. The size of that crappie. Yep. Look at that. That one got him. Slow. You got him? Yep, got him. Oh, that's a massive one. Net, please. Net. Come on. Yes! Right Big off the side of the boat. Yes. As soon as I put it in, I saw my bobber go down. I said, I got him. <laughs> yes. I'm only like six feet deep. Finally. They're, see, they turned on finally. They're finally eating. I don't get it. And that was strictly a. Uh, that's another black crappie. Another black crappie. That was just pure minnow. Good job. Oh, yeah, that's at least 12, maybe 13. Look how fast Mike, I just put that right off the side of the boat. This whole time we've been casting away from the boat. Yeah. That is exactly 12 inches. Beautiful. Hold on, Mike, before we forget. Yeah. Get those bad boys. Those are the two that Mike just caught back to back. So yeah, so now take that. Got him. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Look at those big ones on the bottom. They're right on the bottom, right in front of us. And look at that, guys. They're moving in and off on the bottom. See, you're right there. And you can see they're coming out. So you got some smaller ones coming out. Now we just got to figure out what they want. I almost wonder, I'll throw this at them again. If I get a fish, great. If not, I may switch to hair jig. There we go, guys. Finally. Get in here. Ho, ho. Yes. See? Finally, finally, finally. Well, you had them off the back of the boat. That's where they're sitting. On a bobber and a minnow. All right, I'm going to get them unhooked for you. There you go, Mike. Nice. That's a, is that a white or a black? That's a black. You got it? Yep. Okay. That's a black crappie. Beautiful. Good Mike, fishing, show everybody what you're showing my viewers what you're doing. What, what's your setup? Simple slip bobber, 
Aberdeen hook number six. We're about eight foot deep, six foot pound test, dangling right above the brush. And how do you hook your minnow? I hook it through the back when I'm doing a bobber. When I'm doing a, a jig, I hook it through the lip. This way it's swimming around more natural. Nice. That's a big old crappie. Come on. Yes. yes. Jamie, See, Mikey? Have to throw no. Right off the back no. Of the no, no, no. The... You do your thing, brother. Do your thing. Oh, <laughs> we dropping them all flopping crappie. I can't hold them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. It's hot, I know. But if you stop, if you stop, we're going to help you. I promise. There we go. Get him. Got him. Nice. Mike's got another one, guys. Oh, it's a decent one. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get you. Keep him away from your anchor. Okay. Bring it here. Bring it here. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, Mike is actually over top of the brush pile. And we were going to reposition, and I was like, no, let's not disturb him. And Mike is wearing him out. Let me, hold on, let me hand this to you. I've done so many where I'm holding it for you. Oh, look at that. Fell that's right why they call him Paper mouth. Mouse. Wow. That's another keeper. Yep. Look at that, y'all. Three keepers now. Well, let's hand him back his fish. Another 12 incher. Right at 12 inches. 12, 12 and a quarter. Beautiful. All right. What we're looking for. Uh oh. No. Oh, ho, ho, there's a the back okay, for you. Fine. <laughs> you're okay. Yeah, it's running with it. Pretty good. Yep. And I got a snag. All right, y'all. Mike is on. All right. Mike caught a fish and I got snagged. The world has been restored. This is a... <laughs> Mike caught a fish and I got snagged. Mike. Well, guys, Mike has one crappie so far. And I'm, that second one was a hit. We don't know what it was. Yeah, he, he sure didn't take it like a crappie. I'm not saying it ain't a crappie, but he didn't bite like a crappie. Right. So what we're doing is we're targeting these fish on brush piles, treetops, whatever you want to call them. So far... They wanted nothing to do with us casting to them. So we've switched to wire hook, minnow, bobber. All right, y'all, you know how we do it. We're in the boat. I'm with Mike and Jeff. We need to call him Chef Jeff. Today, he has brought us some uh, naturally flavored wild blueberries. Took a look at that. We're gonna pair that. So here's our setup this morning for eating. We got <laughs> we got a wild blueberry. We're gonna partner that with some Timmy Horton's coffee and a whole bunch of laughs. Let's see what we can hook into, guys. There's your tree. That's right there, Mike. They're okay. down here. Yeah, look how deep they are. Twelve. Well, to at least ten. There's one right there at ten, at 10 yeah. feet, but how are you gonna get into them? Twelve to fourteen. They're all around twelve to fourteen feet. That's a good crappie right there. Look at the size of that thing. Let's get a little nice go back in on the camera. That's what we're after, y'all. There's some smaller ones coming down through here, but we're looking for the big ones. Alright, y'all. Mm-hmm. Anybody else want one? Uh-uh. Things look good. They are good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Matt and Dana, American beer saucers. That's what I'm talking about. At all those. Those are crappie. And they're technically, they're right there. We're sitting on top of them. We're actually too close. I mean, there's some in there. But technically, Mike, they're right there. They're off the back of the boat. Yeah, those are crappie. Those are all crappie. We'll get a bite. So you got to stay patient. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here still looking for that massive crappie bite. We had beer sausage. Now we're having boiled eggs. <laughs> well, y'all, that's what we're looking at. If you look right there, those are all crappie. You'll see them move in and out. Right now, they've decided not to bite. We've thrown hair jigs, plastics, everything at them. Look at that one. I know. I'm running um, free my bait. Right? Yeah, but when you do that, keep bringing it up slowly. And if they chase it, then they'll bite. Um, 
So we'll keep trying to catch them. That's all you can do. Unfortunately, they don't bite until they're ready to bite. All right, guys, we're to the next spot. Here. There we go. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna just go straight. Did you? Yeah, but can you see what you're doing as you're dropping down? Might be a fish. Yeah, you got a fish. Oh, Yay! <laughs> got a crop. Yay. Look at that, guys. Like, Jeffrey snag. got a crappie. I got a snag. Do, 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 do. We said let's go to the go to spot. Jeff got himself a crappie and it absolutely inhaled it. <laughs> Here, Mike, I'm going to swing this over to you. Okay, guys. Still not getting any bites, but we're enjoying the bites. We've moved on to tequila lime ribs. <laughs> so it makes you wonder is this a crappie fishing video? Or is this an eating why crappie fishing video? Comment below. Those are all crappie. Guys, can you all see this? I can't even grab it. Those are all crappie. I'm gonna turn this. Yeah, look at that. Those are all crappie. Now it's just a matter of getting them to bite. That's right in front of you, Jeff. See him? There. There you are. Come up. No, no. Keep coming up. You got one chasing it. Got him? You got one. All right. I told you. Yep. I told oh, you. That's come, a here, nice come here. Come one. here. Come oh, here. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Still, yes. Oh, God, I, I got. Camera. I got that all on video. Talking to you about it. Bringing it up. That is what we're talking about. Hold on. <laughs> Good job, Jeffrey. Okay, y'all, what we have here. I got a bite. That, Mike, that is a beautiful white crappie. No, that's a black crappie. Yeah. I'll see that is a, that's a black. faded out black crappie, y'all. Jeff, last time he's out was just Mike and Jeff, and they Jeff hooked into a beautiful 14 incher. Yeah. Now we're going to measure this one here real fast. Yeah. Mike, you're, you're under. Your bobber, <laughs> hold on, your bobber's under. Get him. Got him. Trying to get up a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna measure Jeff's fish here. Go ahead and grab that tail, Jeff. Slide it up there. Oh. <laughs> Every time. How did he get bite him? Okay, hold on. Let's get that out of the way. Let's grab this other horse. I don't know. Come from. Okay, grab that leaf off of him. Okay. 13 inches. 13, 13 inches, guys. Throw that one back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I wish I had to look up Mike's face right there. No. <laughs> hey, Mike, you okay? Yeah. Oh, Mike looked like he was about to hurt someone. Oh. We worked hard for that crappy. Okay, that's awesome. Now we can just get some to bite. Okay, there we go. Well, Grab that net right there, Chris, if you don't mind. Yeah. Right behind me. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to actually get this one in the boat. This one actually feels one. like it. Yep. Right. There we go. All right, guys. After not getting the first two into the boat, we've decided, Chris was nice enough, if you guys know my saying, net please, to get the net. All right, y'all. There's the first one that actually got in the boat. Lost two of them. Chris has his out here. Beautiful crappie. And he's showing us this technique and it works 100%. So take a look at that one. Beautiful. We're going to get a measurement on it. More likely that one's still going back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fish. Good job, Jim. Thank you, sir. Ten and a half, actually. Yeah, when you told me, Chris, to go to reel as soon as you throw it in, that every single one of those I got a bite on. It's like they're super shallow. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that, y'all. A little short there. I get, I get the little one of the day for that one so far. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, let's let that one go. You got to go grow up, buddy. Need to be a little bit bigger. But thank you for playing. I think what's making the biggest difference, Chris already knew what they liked. So you're starting with an advantage there. But the other part is, is uh, he knew the colors, but that crappie nibble, I think, makes all the difference in the yeah. world, too. It gives them that little bit of that scent that they're looking for because it has not been a tentative like bite. It has been a, I'm like, that's a fish. Like there's a fish on. 
Yeah, they so. usually don't nibble. Like. That's a black uh, crappie. Uh, all right, an Arrigo black crappie. Black nice. That's what I'm talking about. That little short here on the pink trout magnet with the crappie nibble. Beautiful. All right, Mike. <laughs> Finally got a crappie. You need the net? Nah, it's a You good? Piece. All right. Mike's it on the board, y'all. Nice. Right. Good job, Mike. Do I need a net? Uh, that seems like a better fish. Oh, there you go. Nice. Thank you, Jim. Is that a black crappie? Uh -oh. oh, look at that. He popped off right at the last minute here. Perfect timing. Yeah. Well, there's nothing better. Not Friday morning, cool, crisp, no wind. Yeah, out here trying to get a few crappies. That's what I'm saying. People talk about all these things that they want or have in life. It's like, if you haven't done this, you are truly missing out. All right, Mike. Got another white crappie. Is that a black crappie? That is a, another white crappie. Nice. Got him. That is a crappie. A little bit better. That's a crappie. Bonus fish. There we go, guys. Got that one on the slip bobber and the minnow. There we go, guys. Here you go, Mike, show that to your viewers. Got that one on the minnow and the slip bobber. First one on the minnow. Chris, you got one Chris has a nice one, y'all. Look at the, oh yeah. I got you. That is a keeper. That is beautiful, y'all. All right, guys, Chris got another one in there. Look at that, that is a beautiful. It's a big old slab there. That's a slab. Got oh, him on the yeah. red trout magnet. Get him on the hook here. Nice. Beautiful. That is, all, that's 11 and a half, brother. All, right. all day long. That's what I'm talking about. You know the net? Okay. Nice. Chris is wearing them out, guys. Okay. Told you he was gonna only. Oh, look at that. I got one while I was just sitting there. Oh, net, please. Me and Chris just doubled up. Oh, let's get a good one here, Jimbo. All right. All right. I'm sitting here watching you, and also my pole's going. I'm like, what is, what is happening? All right, y'all. Look at that. Twins. That's what I'm talking about. Bigger though. <laughs> uh, not by much. Might be the mom and the baby. I don't know. Yeah, this is the kid. I think. Right. There's plenty of crappie in here. You might want to get that bad boy out there. Do. All right, y'all. That one is eleven and three quarters. There's number three. Chris, you've done it. You've officially converted me. I don't think I have a desire to fish with another bait Are because. You a trout magnet man now? Yeah, because you could catch everything. And it's just so much fun. Like even those smaller ones with this two pound line. Here's Got him. Net they, please. Uh, no, no, never mind. It's gonna be a little one. With the sinker on it, I'll be interested to see what you guys uh, after fishing this a little bit, maybe you you're fishing at, at your home place. See if we a bit. can get them to bite a little bit better well, in Cherokee. Also, yes, that and also wait till you go back and try to fish. Guys, this check that out. The next time. Yeah, you're gonna be you're like, not used to oh, it. this is funky. Oh, there we go. There you go, Mike. Mike is on the board, y'all. See, they're stacked into that one little section right there. Good job, Mike. This is such a beautiful and just peaceful area. Oh, look at that. Chris has another one, y'all. Beautiful. That's a black crappie. What is this, Mike? That is a black crappie. <laughs> Got him. Oh, I need a net. No, 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 I don't. Never mind. He just... Was you pulling good. They surprise you. Well, you're on this white gear. They all feel heavy. They feel a lot bigger, sure they do. And that is Mike. What is that? That is a black crappie. <laughs> Jim there we go, guys. Here. Beautiful. This is just absolutely fun. There's no other way to describe it. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. Let's let that one go. There we go. There we go. All right. There's another one. Let's let that one go. We're sponsored by me. Today. Sponsored by me. Sponsored by me. <laughs> but why would you want to? If, like, this is fun. Yeah. 
There we go. Well, got another one. Oh, that's a better fish. That's going to need a net. They're not lying. It's, oh, I'm not yeah. lying. Oh, yeah. There we go. That might be a keeper, Chris. They are like right on the edge there. of this cast right there. I've got every single one of them right there. And that's yeah. one of the bigger ones. Guys, this is Chris's spot. These fish are stacked in here. And he is blessed enough to, we're blessed enough that he's letting us fish it. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. That one I believe is gonna make that one's gonna make the show. Oh no. Well yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's That's dead. ten. You're gonna make the show, buddy. Oh no, you're fine. There we go. That one need a net. Oh, there you go. Mike's on the board, y'all. Right. Beautiful. Rubber. You need net? Nope. All right. Good okay. job, Mike. This one is a black crappie. <laughs> <sighs> oh. He's here all day, folks. Well, you're sideways, Mike. You got a fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you need a net? Yeah. I got one, too. <laughs> this is a little one. Oh, man, you got a nice one, Mike. That's a keeper. He hit it on the drop. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Guys, Mike got himself a beautiful... That's a black crappie. Black crappie. All right. Let's see if I can get myself stuck. Hey. There we go. Got it. 11 inch black crappie caught it on the minnow and an aberdeen hook slip bobber get you some of that boom nice chris what'd you get uh this is that a crappie this is a giant striper giant striper yeah just looks small because i'm actually a giant nice all right mike you're under mike you're under pull 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 mike you're under here you go here you go chris Oh, yeah. oh, Give me your pole. Perfect. No, no. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Guys, there it is. There's another keeper. Beautiful. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Safina. Right. Right. That might be the big one of the day. Heck yeah. What you got there, Mike? Got another black crappie. Nice. Probably about 11, 11 and a half. And they hit the minnow. Got him. Net. That's a nice fish. That feels like a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a crappie. There we go. May not be a keeper. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. On the beautiful trout magnet. All right. Yes, sir. The trout magnet continues to provide. Yes, it does. Every time. It is, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you can just keep working the lay down. Makes you wonder. That one is not going to make the cut. That is nine and three quarters. Right there, guys. All right. Let's go get bigger. There we go. Yep. I I I don't know if we I don't know if we need to move. Do you need a net? Another beautiful crappie. Another black crappie. I got the net. I got the net. I got the net. Yep. I got the net. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper all day long. Chris, you sure you want to move? I would. Just a little closer. Brother. Brother, are you kidding me? This is the monster of the day. Oh, hold on. I'm down. Okay. The big old slab of Rooney there. Look at that. Definitely going in the cooler for you guys. It's a 12 and a half. Anyway. 12 and three quarters, yeah. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous crappie there. We'll open the lid. Add that to the bounty. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yay. Getting a few stacked up there. 
Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Dude, look at it. It makes all the other ones look like babies. Yeah. Yeah. And those are decent sized crappie. See, I'm getting pecked right there. Got them that time. That is a better fish. That is a keeper crappie. Oh yeah, good job. Oh, yeah. Good job man. All right. Uh, cup, oh, oh. E easy, easy. You're hooked, as Richard Jean said. Say, you know, one got a hook in your mouth, boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got you one of them there nose rings. All right, y'all, take a look at that. That was on the minnow and slip bobber. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a measurement real fast. And that is 10 and 3 quarters. All right. For Mike's viewers, 10 and 3 quarters, y'all. Another beautiful. Mike, what is that? Black crappie. <laughs> right. Guys, so if you're wondering what we're doing today, I got the six foot six ACC crappie stick out here. And we are throwing a trout magnet on a trout magnet jig head and we're tipping that with crappie nibbles. Okay. And then on the eight footer, we are throwing the slip bobber with a live minnow. And we're just putting it in here on this brush the best we can. And we're looking for results. Now we're getting results both ways. The crappie nibbles are doing the job. The trout magnet's doing the job. Chris actually has landed the biggest crappie with the trout magnet and the crappie nibble. Mike has landed the second biggest one with the uh, minnow and slip bobber. And I want to say mine was on the trout magnet, right? Yeah. My big one. This is the fun part right here. You know you're catching. Mike, you're already under. Mike is already under, guys. Got him. Hold oh, on, dude. Okay, I can't even. Oh, yeah. I can't even get baited up at time. Beauty. Okay, keep it on the. Bring it across. Oh, All right, y'all. Look at that. Okay, easy, easy. You got some hardware in your mouth. I don't need it in my finger. Okay, I'm gonna show. You. Boom, Mike. What is that? That is a black crappie. <laughs> Mike, what is that? Black crappie. What is that, Mike? Black crappie. <laughs> you got it. Yep. Oh, oh that is awesome. Yes. Oh, Chris, you found the hot spot here, brother. Yep. He's like, I seen some nice fishing here the other day. You're not right, you did. Yeah. Here, you want me to measure it for you? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess about 12. That is mouth closed to the back. Yep, 12 inches. Boom! Add it to the list, to the bucket. Chris has already got one. Do you need, do you need net? There's a crappie. Oh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> He's going everywhere. Man. There we go, okay. too. Yeah, got him that time. All right. There we go, Chris. Yes. All right. Another one on the bulldog. Get him unhooked here. Check it out, guys. Check That's it out. That's what we're talking about awesome. right there. Absolutely. Beautiful. Let's get you a measurement. You have. I think there's fish on mine. You are sitting at 10 and a half inches. Oh, no, hold on. Yep. Yeah, 10 and a half inches. <laughs> Beautiful. Just toss them in the collection there. All right. Got him. That is a better fish. It is a crappie. Nice little crappie there. Nice. There we go. Oh, oh, come, come back here. Come back here. Never fails, y'all. As soon as you go to bait up a different pole, you catch a fish. Beautiful. That's a black crappie. Look at that, y'all. That one's not going to make the show. You know, that's another thing with using this two-pound line. It's like it's so sensitive. Yep, not going to make it. You need a net? No. Look at that. Black Mike over there with the black crappie. Chris over here with the bluegill. My camera's upside down. It's pandemonium. It's pandemonium <laughs> Chris, up in here. the fish are biting. Ah! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Mike, you're under. You are under big time. Is that the hook? Got him. Oh, I'm under. And, and I did not get him. Another nine inch crappie. Good job, Mike. Black crappie. Oh, he fell off. Here comes one. 
Is that? Yes, nice. You don't want the net? Look at that, y'all. Beautiful black crappie. Black crappie, about 11 incher. Nice. That's a beauty. We'll take him, guys. <clears throat> and this one is 11, just over 11. Feeling up in there. Mm -hmm. Got one. Yeah, there so you it's go. crappie. Out. Mm -hmm. They're in there, guys. That's what those are. We're looking at crappie. We're combining Chris's technique of the trout magnet with the crappie nibble with the power of live scope. And there's a couple big ones in there. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Uh huh. I'm listening. But uh, I told him I was like, I said, I don't think Check that out, time yeah. for me. Uh, one day at home, I got work. Got him that time. Here. Oh, you yanked him right out of the water. Nice. What is that, Mikey? Got another black crappie. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, it's running with it. Get it, Jim. Got him. Yes. Oh, I'm going to need a net. And that is not a, that's not a catfish. I think that's a crappie. It's, a it's either pounds. a crappie or it's a white bass. Three pound crappie. Three pound crappie. Come on, three pound. That's three a pound. massive crappie. Come on. Yes! yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right out even with the boat, guys. Right out even with the boat. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice! Okay. Dude, that's like a 14 incher. We need picture. Oh, you got it. Nice. That's a good pick. You yeah. want to measure that? Okay. Awesome. My awesome freaking. It, it wasn't. It wasn't rolling, so I knew it wasn't a catfish. Close your little mouth. Thirteen and almost three quarters. Woo! Oh, it's a crappie. Got him. Crappie, baby. Good job, Jim. Thank you. I was just twitching it. twitching it. They wanted that action. Look, right, guys. Not very thick. However, he is. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half. Ten, yep. Ten and a half. This hit your bobber with the net? No, it had a uh, this pink jig head with the plastic on it, and it was tipped with the minnow. Okay. And I twitched it, and he absolutely slammed it. Okay. So, it was sitting there for a while, and I just said, "Well, I'll twitch it." As I was switching this one, and it just boom went down. So he must have been looking at it for a minute. Yeah. This one is down. Which one is Your outside pole is down. Here, Mike. Oh, gosh. Oh. That's a nice one. Bring her in. I'm going to get these other poles out of the way. There you go. That's a keeper. That's a keeper all day. Woo. Yes. There we go. Good job, Annie. Now that bobber starts moving. Oh, maybe they're going to fish. Yeah, you do have a fish. And moving. that's a crappie. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes! Crappie <laughs> Queen does it again. The crappie fishing setup I used in this video is a tried and true technique that every angler can use to catch crappie, regardless of your fishing experience. Of course, I'm going to show you how to enhance this crappie fishing experience by adding attractors to your rig. We are talking about the bobber and jig setup, but not your standard version of this crappie catching rig. That standard bobber and jig crappie rig setup is to use a number two Aberdeen wire hook with a number five split shot and a slip bobber or a weighted bobber. I will typically use either a weighted fill bobber, a number five split shot down to a Rock Creek 1 32nd ounce hair jig, or I will use a Rock Creek 1 16th ounce hair jig depending on the water depth. The reason I prefer a Rock Creek hair jig is its ability to enhance the bait profile. See the difference? I will also switch the Rock Creek hair jig and use a Jolly Bait Slab Man. All of these options provide an extra enhancement over the traditional Aberdeen wire hook that is typically tipped with a minnow. The best part is, you can still tip these baits with a minnow if you want to, to add another layer of attraction. There are hundreds, and yes I do mean hundreds, of bait scent options. You can purchase these just about anywhere. You can spray them, rub them on, soak them in, and tip your hook with. Here are a few of the ones I use. The Crappie Magnet Slab Bites, 
the Potsky Crappie Fireballs, and Berkeley Powerbait. In this crappie fishing video, I am using three different setups to target these highly pressured crappie. My first setup is on my ACC Crappie Stick 6 foot 6 broad paired with a Fluger President SP25 spinning reel. I use Vicious 4 pound mono high vis yellow. My second setup is on my ACC Crappie Sticks 8 foot rod paired with a Fluger Tryon spinning reel. I use Vicious 4 pound mono high vis yellow. The third and final setup is on my Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 7 foot rod paired with a Fluger President SP35 spinning reel. I use Vicious 6 pound mono high vis yellow. Got him. That is a crappie. All right. That is a keeper crappie. Right in front of the boat. That's a crappie. That's a crappie all day. That's a 10 incher. Here we go. Get it. Got him. That's a keeper crappie. And that's a black crappie. Oh, you don't either. That may be a keeper. You don't need a net, do you? It's gonna be close. That piece been spawning because he's got a little sore in his underneath his belly and on his mouth. There we go. As I'll start on an area that's in front of me, I start in front of that, cast out, and just slowly, 30 seconds throw, just work your bobber back, and then cast out, and cover all the area in front of you. That's what I'm doing here. I'm casting, and each time I'm casting it to a different spot, and I'm just slowly reeling it back. And if you get a bite, then you cast back to the same area. Here we go. Okay. It's running. Get him, get him. Got him. Come on, come this way, net please. That's another crappie. Okay, and just like that, I took the lead back. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Got him. Yes. Nut, please. That is definitely a keeper like that. He just spit the hook. He literally just spit the hook out that easy. Wow. That's definitely a keeper. Thank oh, you, Mike. Right. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Nick's cat. Go get bigger. There we go. I saw you that time. You want to take it? On there. Got him. Got him. Net, please. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper crappie. Yes, yes. Come on, that's come a keeper on. crappie. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes. Look at that. Right, right at Good job. Together. Thank you, Mike. Yep. Oh my goodness, Lippin. guys. There you go. Oh, it's a black nose. You got a Oh, magnolia. got a magnolia, guys. Hey, that's a bonus. He was pecking at it. I can see the bobber mm -hmm. just barely. Look at that. Sweet. Black nose. Those are cool. That is awesome. Those yeah. are so cool looking. I'm, I want to say that's going to be 10. Gonna be close. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call it. Well, you're actually, I think that's 10 and a quarter. Yeah, that's, that's 10 and a that's quarter. That's legal. That's a 10-incher. Oh, that was awesome. All right, bring it in, bring it in, brother. Got him. Got him. Net, please. Net, net please. Net, net, Here, you got him, Mike? That's a keeper? Maybe. Yep, that's a keeper. All right. I'm like, hey, your line's yeah. swimming away. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That was awesome. And then what you do want to catch. Yep. Woo, that was fun. Go get bigger, little one. You, you're going to get eaten. Got him. Net, please. Net, net, net. That's a definite net. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. Fish. I let it drift all the way to the end of the pier, and that's where he hit and it. And he hit it. Yep, that's a keeper, too. I just got a mouthful of fish water, honey. Oh, Thank you, Mike. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Once again, Mike did phenomenal with his uh, netting skills. We just let it drift all the way to the end of the pier. So we are looking at... You are almost 11 inches. Beautiful. Almost 11. Look at that. Yeah, we're starting to get some fish in there now. All these, that's the, that's the first white crappie. The rest have been all blacks, look. Yeah. That's our first white. See the stripes? First keeper white, yep. There we go. 
It's been a minute. Come on, hit it again. There it goes. Got him. Got him. Oh, I need a net, please. Okay, That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a crappie. Yep. And nice. it's a keeper. That was the same exact spot, Mike. Look at that, guys. I don't care what you want to say, the Rock Creek hair jig is doing its job. Good gracious. Beautiful. That's a keeper. That's about 11 oh, inches here. I'll let you measure them if you want, since you're already up. Got him? Yep. It's almost 12 inches. It is 11 and a half. Got him that time. Got him. Net, please. Oh, that's a big old blue cat. That's what was messing with it. No, that's a big old. Is that a crappie? That's, that's a big crappie, old crappie. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> good job. <sighs> oh, that's a beauty. She was stealing them. I knew they were down here. Yep, she was stealing them. I was like, she keeps messing with it. Well, we've been seeing them. They Look at that, guys. Fighting, but they're there. Okay, they're I actually had someone female. leave a comment on my last video, not the one for Pine Outdoors, but the one for uh, Rock Creek. And you guys said, man, you're beating that to death, talking about the uh, the bait. Well, there's a reason. Look at that. Why would you not share that information with other people? Hey, Matt, Sophie, y'all gonna need to send me a discount code. I think the viewers are gonna start buying your product because what else do you need to know? I mean, look at that. That's a beauty. Look at that. That's probably a good 13 inches. 12 and 3 quarters. 12 and 3 quarters, that's beautiful. The second 12 and 3 quarters that up. The double jig rig is extremely effective. What I like to do when I'm rigging it up is I will allow myself about 24 inches of line. I will slide the lighter jig head, in this case, a 1 32nd ounce hair jig, up to about 18 inches. I will tie that into a loop knot. I will come down from that 8 to 12 inches. I will tie that last jig on there, which is going to be heavier, typically 1 16th ounce, so that it will pull that line tight. At this point, I will normally tie a Palomar knot into that. Very rarely do I use a loop knot on the bottom one. Once that touches the bottom, I like to reel it up one to two cranks, wait 20 or 30 seconds, and slowly reel it up. And that's the secret we're trying to share with you guys today. I have found crappie on the bottom no matter what type of lake I fish in. Sometimes, when you hook into a fish, the hooking can be hard to get out. What I like to do with these hair jigs is I would loosen up my line or either open up the bell all the way give myself some slack so that there's slack in the line and then I simply just take the top of my finger and I push the top of the hair jig and it will pop it right out. Got you. Got him that time. That's a keeper. Come on, come on. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's a hog. Oh yeah. Nice. There we go. That's a beauty. That hit the bottom jig probably about a foot and a half off the bottom. Look at that. They're in here, guys. They're actually, well, I'll tell you exactly where they're at. They're about that far out. <laughs> in the water. Right off the bottom. They're in the water. That's a good assumption, too. Out, out from under the That might be my biggest one so far. I don't know Beautiful. if that's going to hit 14 or not. It's going to be close. A little fat, white crappy. Uh, Ooh, 13. 13 and, yeah, 13 and a quarter. Not bad. They'll join your other friend. There we go. Got him. Oh, net, please. That's a hole. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's a hot spot today. Look at that. That's your third hog. Ooh, that one swallowed it. Oh, buddy. That's the big one. That's probably, that one probably broke 14. Yeah. I don't know about the half, but. It's at least 14. It looks pretty big. It might be 14 and a half. Yeah, Mike, if you have the black and uh might have to put black and chartreuse. Black and chartreuse. Well, I'm just saying that's the third one I've gotten off of that color. If it's working, it's working, right? Yep. Not every time when you're fishing will the hook come out of a fish cleanly. What you'd like to do at that point is sometimes you have to grab a pair of pliers, catch the round bend of the hook gently push down that will pop out of the fish and then you can have a clean release now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can return these fish to the water as safely as possible especially if they're not of a size to keep or if you're just fishing to enjoy fishing 
Got him that time. Net, please. Net. Right behind you. That's a slab. Beautiful, buddy. Beautiful. Man, you were on fire today. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, there we go. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Just doubled up. One, two. You all saw that in real time action. Caught this one. Then turn around and snag this bad boy. Let's see what sizes Let's we see. got. We got ourselves a 12 incher. Just yeah. over 12 inches. Go ahead. And then we got this bad boy. It is 14 exactly. Woo. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh nice. my goodness. That is what we're talking about. Yep. Guys, I just caught that on the Rock Creek double jig rig. The Rock Creek freaking double jig rig. <laughs> That's original music for those of you who don't know. The Rock Creek freaking double jig yeah, rig. Yeah, that is 11 inches long. Those of you who haven't been paying attention. Oh yeah, look at that. Got him. Got him, net please. Oh, never mind. I think I could flip it in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. That double jig rig, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And that is 10 and a quarter. So Got him. Oh, right. oh, that's a bigger fish. On, Net, please. We got him. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm saying. I think this is the hot spot. I mean, I'm watching these guys trolling everything else. They've got one fish. We've just got four in the last 10 minutes. Look at that, guys. Looky here, looky here. That is 10, 10 and a half, almost 11. Look at that. Yeah, 11. Woo. Well, 10 and 7 eighths. Look at all those. get technical. Yep. Those are the ones we've kept. We've thrown several back. Our setup in this video is a version of a drop shot, but with an Eagle Claw crappie rig. I will typically use either a size 2 Eagle Claw crappie rig paired with a 3 8 ounce bass casting sinker, or I will use a size 1 aught Eagle Claw crappie rig paired with a 1 ounce bass casting sinker. The size of the minnows I have and the current determine which crappie rig I will use in that moment. In this video, I'm using the size 2 Eagle Claw crappie rig paired with a 1 ounce bass casting sinker. I had small to medium sized minnows and was fishing the main channel under this bridge. I used my Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 6'6 medium rod paired with a Fluger President SP35 spinning reel. My line was Vicious 6 pound mono high vis. Mike, right here, you got a fish. Set up. Yeah. Any net, please. Mike just got two in a row, guys. We got it. Absolutely. Two keepers in a row. How big was that last one, Mike? 11. And look at that. There we go, guys, filling up the boat. Swallowed it. Well, I saw your line taking off, so I was like, he's definitely on this. Oh, here we go, here we go. Get him there. Got him. Got Net, him. please. That's a keeper. Yep. All right. Good morning. All right. There we go, guys. That's not a monster, but he'll eat. Look at that. All right, guys. One, two, three. That's six fish already. Got it. Beautiful. Man, he slammed it. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Paper mouth. Thank you. Barely hooked. on a drop shot, just a minnow and a uh, hook, all the way on the bottom, we're about eight foot deep. Oh, yes, that's net. Oh, that's a big fish. And he's got a big old crappie. That's the big one of the day. Look at that, the crappie queen has struck again. That's 14 inches. That is, uh, that's worth getting your fishing line messed up, Annie. That's worth Look it. at that, guys. We'll fix it in a minute. Holy crap, B. The wind wasn't kicking our butts and we are able to set Where up the way we were going, going to. We would have been wearing them out. 
another big one. That's gonna be at least 11, 11 and a half. Right. It is. Oh, that's over 12. It is. Easily over 12. It is 12 and a quarter. Yep. Yes. Sweet. Annie. Yeah, set the hook. Get the, get the net. Oh, that's a nice one. Are you snagged? Oh, that's going to be a nice one. Holy cow. That is a three pound coffee. Wow. Guys, look at that. that is Are a, you kidding me? Look at that, dude. Look at this, dude. Holy shamoly. You got her three pound Holy crappy. crap. Holy cow. Wow. Oh my God, I almost stayed home today. That's why you don't stay home. All right, so this is why you go fishing even when you don't feel good. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, see let's see how much it is. Let's see how big it is. We're going to take guesses. I'm going to say that is a 17 and a half inch. Ooh, I wish we had our weight thing. Oh my gosh. That's got to be, a, that's, that's 18 and almost three quarters. <laughs> Guys, what you're seeing here is Annie from Arrigo Outdoor Adventures, just landed her personal best mega crappie in eight and a half feet of water. Don't say that you can't catch big fish in shallow water. Okay, and we're about to get a weight for you here in just a second. We are reading, three yeah, pounds. exactly three, three pounds. pounds. <laughs> three pound crappie, y'all. Exactly pound three crappie. pounds. That is absolutely ridiculous. Make sure it's gonna be okay because that's gonna be fine. pretty much. Poor guy. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a female. Poor girl. I saw her. She's got eggs in her. Let's slide these back. Hold on. Got another one. Net, please. Oh, that one's a slab. Got that one? Okay, net. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Uh, you're gonna have to come over on this side. Oh, you're gonna have to come to the front of the boat. I got too many poles in the way. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start rolling them up. Oh my God, that's a big, that's a big crappie. That's a big crappie. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Look at that. Dude, you just doubled up two massive Woo! ones. Boom, boom. That may, be, that may be your TV, dude. <laughs> that's why you go fishing. And yes, I am the net man. Holy <laughs> shamoly. Yes, I said it. On the drop shot, finally. <sighs> yes. Get out of this net so you can get out of the rain. There you go. Guys, look at that. I've doubled up before. Oh, are you okay? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> okay, guys, I've doubled up before, but nothing like this ever. So look at that. Okay, hold on. Damn damn. Alright, guys just doubled up one you all saw that in real time action you all saw that in real time action that was awesome caught this one then turn around and snag this bad boy let's see what sizes we got we got ourselves a 12 incher just over 12 inches go ahead and then we got this bad boy nope it is 14 exactly no 14 and a quarter Woo. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh my nice. goodness. All right. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't need to cast away from the boat. Look at this. These are right off the side of the boat, people. And I mean, they are slabs. And you don't see the three pounder in there. We let that one go. You guys go check that out on Arrigo Outdoor Adventures channel. Go check out their Facebook page. Got him. That was mine. Oh, that oh, dude! You got this. You got this. Yes, I watched him hit it. I yes, yes, it yes. It. <laughs> it was mine. Finally got a keeper. Come on, people. That's what I'm talking about. Hang How on. do you not get excited I'm about off. that? All right, here we go. Thank you, Jim, for netting it. Of course, so I can do this without getting a hook in my finger. Hold on. <laughs> the feet stop flopping. Flopping crappie, right? That's what they call them. Yep. That term flop and crappie came because they flopped so much. Got him. That was a fish taking my bait. That's a crappie. That's a keeper. 
I'm looking, I'm like, they're all over yes. my face. And then I saw my line go sideways. Well, yes, praise yes, the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. This and the, guys, this is the eater here. Yeah, this is why you let the bigger ones go. Yep. If you can. I mean, hold on. That's why when you go fishing, you do what you want. You pay for your license. Yep. You do what makes you happy. Got him. That's a keeper anyway. Oh, yeah. dude, that's your big one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey got his big one. We now have officially had the best crappie fishing experience I ever. I watched him hit it. I'm yes. Like, He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> Good job, Mike. Way to entice him. That was awesome. I'm sitting here watching it from the side. You saw it. Yeah. Guys, look at this. I mean, that is what we're talking about. Yep. Got him. Got him? Yep, got him. Net, please. Oh, that's a big crappie. It's a big crappie. Bring him over to you. Holy cow. Look at the size of that. Holy nice. crap. That's your fish you threw back. No, that's bigger than the fish I threw back. <laughs> Woo. There we go, guys. Just drop shot it. That's all you got to do. Drop shot it, drop shot it. Okay. This is bigger than the one I caught earlier. Easily. That's two pounds all day long. Fifteen. Fifteen and a quarter. Yep. It's sixteens right there. Yep. Okay, buddy. Fifteen and a quarter inch. What a beautiful. Beautiful. Got, got him that time. I saw him swimming with it. You got a good one. You got a good one. He's good just job. about ten. That'll be only the. I watched him take it. <laughs> I'm like hey hey hey. <laughs> Nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, honey, that's a big one. That's a beauty. Good job. <laughs> Crappy queen does it again. You can let the little one go. I already got that one. Okay, I'll need to measure that one. Okay. I'm going to get these 13 and a half. Ooh. Yep, 13 and a half. Nice. Tearing them out today. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> All right, next cast. Wow. Let's go get yourself. I'm railing it today. <laughs> that, I mean, look at the thickness of that. Holy shimmer. Beautiful. Wow. That is 15, 14 and three quarters. 15 exactly. That yeah, 15. 15, 15 exactly. Oh, wow. Is that your that's your PV, ain't it? No, 15 and three quarters. The one out at the farm was my PV. Look at the mast on that. Well guys, I typically wouldn't do this, but this one's going back in. Man, what do you do? What would you guys do? Annie, what would you do? Whenever you're ready. What a hog. Oh, that's disgusting. I caught a fish, guys. It's a crappie. It's not alive. That is absolutely disgusting. Look at that. For my viewers, I thought there'd be crappie underneath there. <laughs> oh, I caught a slam. It ain't alive, but I caught him. Don't tell me I don't know how to catch fish. I catch them live, dead, in between. Yo, I was jigging underneath the pontoon. I caught me a slab, crappy. That's a slab, baby. Oh, that's disgusting. They don't have a lot of food eater on here. They're awful skinny, aren't they? <sighs> awful skinny. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, jeez. I don't even want to touch it, but I got to. Dude, that's a heavy fish because... Hey, Amen. Oh, Ooh. not where I was going with that, but uh, oh, I just got rotten crappie on my Get shoe. Get that stick and just poke it back in the water. I got rotten crappie on my shoe. Got him. Yes. That's a crappie. Oh. <laughs> I jumped out with the net. He already Good got him job. in the boat. 
Good job. Woo! Don't know if he's a keeper. It's gonna be close. Well, we can measure him and see. Right in the front of the boat. I literally was about five. Yeah, they're swimming. I think they're swimming out in here. So check it out. There it is, guys. First crappie of the day for today. I'm gonna say. I'm hoping he's a ten. I hope he's eleven. Yeah, I'd be okay with 10. <laughs> 11 would be nice, but I'm just trying to get a keeper. He's 10. He is 10 and a quarter. Yep. Woo! These there minnows seem to be a little bit there bigger. Got him. Oh, I got one too. There we go. Thank you, baby. That might be 10 inches. Now, Jim, yours may, yours may work. Hold on, buddy. Nine and a half, y'all. Nine and a half, that's what they all. Nine and three quarters. Nice. Right. Bring them in. All right. There we go. What you got there, Mikey? Big old crappie. Look at that, guys. All right. What'd you catch that on? I caught that on my chartreuse and white hair jig from Candy Creek Outdoors. I caught it on my eight foot yeah. UCC crappie stick. That is ten and a half. Got him. Got him. No. 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 Not close. Okay, well you owe me a Coke. You ready to pay up? Yeah, Not even nine inches. Are you serious? Yep. Oh Here Mike confirm. <laughs> Not even nine inches. Yeah. The crappie fishing setup I used in this video is a tried and true technique that every angler can use to catch crappie, regardless of your fishing experience. Whether you're crappie fishing from the bank or a boat, this crappie fishing technique can be extremely effective and help you catch more crappie. In this crappie fishing video, I'm using three different setups to target these highly pressured crappie. My first setup is on my ACC crappie sticks six foot six rod paired with the Fluger President SP25 spinning reel. I use Vicious 4 pound mono high vis yellow. My second setup is on my ACC crappie stick 8 foot rod paired with a Fluger Trion SP spinning reel. I use Vicious 4 pound mono high vis yellow. The third and final setup is on my Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 7 foot rod paired with a Fluger President SP35 spinning reel. I use Vicious 6 pound mono. Oh, that's a big one. Here, here. That's a keeper. Hold on, Annie. Hold on. Don't, don't. I'm not doing nothing. Yes! Got it, finally! He kept, he kept coming after it, guys. Well, you got it. Nice one. Yes! The crappie oh, queen strikes again. Yeah, baby! Woo -hoo. Hold that bad boy up. Hold oh. that. Crappie queen. Okay, now close it. Lip it. Lip it good. Lip it hard. Do, 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 do. You must lip crappie it. Crappie queen. What's Does up, y'all? What's up, YouTube world? I think you just caught the biggest one under the bridge for us today. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ours That's the big one of the day. Over 10. That's the big one of the plastic. day. All right. Let me shut that one. That is 11 and three quarters. Ooh, yep. Good. That's the big one of the day. Yep. Yeah. And that, nope. I'm good. Oh, that yeah. looks like nice. a pin nature. Woo. Fell right off. Oh, sorry. I thought it was going to jump back in the oh. water. Out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Got him. Got please. Net, please. That's a decent sized fish. That's a keeper. Maybe. Ah, oh, he might not be a keeper. He's not a keeper. Dude, that's my first fish on an actual casting and, and reeling. Yep. Really huh? In several days. Thank you, sir. Huh. All right. Guys, I don't know about you, but uh, man, today has turned out to be a beautiful day. We're catching crappie. We're breaking personal best records. We're making friends. <sighs> How can you not enjoy that? There we go. There we go. Yep, that's a keeper. Right off the back of the boat. Right off the back of the boat, dude. They seem to really like chartreuse, and I'm gonna have to switch yep. up. I don't know if it's 10 inches, but it's oh, oh something got its tail, it and look, it got bit on this side. Is it half of its tail? Yep. Oh, something. A gar oh, or something him. probably went after. Got him. That's a that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. 
Oh, ho, ho. that's another nice one. <laughs> okay, hold on. Keeper. But it's wrapped around the net. Beautiful. Got him on a white grub, y'all. You got it on the white curly tail. <laughs> yep, 11 inches. Got him. Got him. Net, please. Net. That's a keeper. <laughs> Let's do it. That's two on that curly tail. But I tipped it with a minnow this time. Look at that. Because I haven't been getting any bites, <laughs> so I threw the minnow on it. Woo. Grab them hard. Down. There you go. All right. Just like that. Woo. Me and Mike just catch two back to back, guys. Look Good at that. Good okay, job. let's see what this is. It is 12 inches. Over 12 inches, 12 and a quarter. Boring. Guys, look at this. I mean, that is what we're talking about. Yep. Got him. Net, please. Oh, that's this one's better. Holy this cow. one is better than the other one. <laughs> Jim was on fire. Put it right down in between both Absolutely of these holes. Absolutely on fire. That's a black one in there. Yep. Yeah, Annie, I got white. I might have a white grub. I don't know if I do or not. <laughs> yeah, Mike. They're hitting right in front of the Wearing right side of the pole. Out. Cast over in there, brother. Look at that, guys. Two in a row. That was awesome. Are you casting out on your mic? No, I don't have my pole set up yet. Oh. That one is 11 inches. Nice. Oh, she got one. Oh, that's a keeper. Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> is that one on the slip bobber, too? Again. Yeah, it was on my slip. This is a, this one's a black rub Let some line out, babe. How deep were you? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go at four. I'm four foot, right? Four foot. Okay. I'm sure those things will wear out the crappie and the white bass. The six cents one? Mm-hmm, because they're white. Both of them. They're aggressive right now, so anything you throw in front of them that's going to get any attention. And this is muddy water, muddy stained water. So white and orange will both work. There we go. Did not get him. No, I got him. He's just small. Okay, guys. They're out here catching babies. What is going on with this one? I caught a fish that fast. Woo! I threw it in there and just popped it. <laughs> that is what's going on? That is a keeper crappie. Like nope, yep, that's a keeper crappie. Yep. That is crazy. Like, yes, name? baby, that's what we're I threw it in and I'm like about? I'm like, why is my bobber not going down? Because there's a fish on it. It's like hello. <laughs> Thank you, Annie, for that great net job. You're welcome. Okay, you are 11 and a quarter. Yeah, I got to bring these drop shots up in a minute and check them. The white bass are really good about pulling the minnows off a hook no matter what you do. Without the bobber going down? No, on your drop shots. Oh. Yeah, if you're not paying attention to your drop shot, they make about two good little thumps on it. That minnow's gone. That was funny. Why is my bobber not going down? Because there's a fish on it, you jack wagon. There we go. Come on, get it, baby. You still got him. You still got him. You still got him. He's on there. Nice. That may keep, Mike. Good job, good job, boo. I knew there was one kept messing with it and messing with it. <laughs> Clung, clean, clung. You know, 8,000 foot pole. That's, yeah. Uh, that's eight guys, foot guys, you know what's wrong with the 8 foot pole? Yeah, it's 8 feet long. Oh, that was awesome. See, it's 10 inches and 1 inch. Nice. He'll do. <laughs> Mike, got him clung, clean, clung. <laughs> Love it, Mike. That is why we go fishing, guys. Not to catch fish. I know that doesn't make sense. We go fishing for the antics that ensues while we're catching fish. Right? Anyone can catch fish. Can you be as animated as we are? There you go, you get the bite. Huh? Yeah, Annie, you're under. Okay. 
He was just hitting it. Hitting he's it. got. He's on there. Rope your slack. Set the hook. Set the hook. Set the hook. I got it. That's a baby. Oh, tiny baby. She got another one, y'all. Right over top of that section. Tiny baby, but I got it. Y'all, we're just out here having a relaxing day of bobber and minnow fishing. Just getting these crappie as they're moving in and out of these uh, stump fields coming through this channel. You got it here. Oh. Got him? Yeah. Is it another baby? It though? is. Look at the babies. That's a oh my gosh. She's catching the baby. That's about the size of your uh, bluegill. Actually, maybe. Well, the drop shots, if when you get the big crappie, typically they'll hook themselves. Yeah. Because you got that weight on the bottom. So when they go to swim away, it kind of draws up the tension and it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The little ones that are pecking at it on their drop shots, you don't want to catch those ones anyway. Well, I know why I haven't caught any fish. Why? You don't have no minnows? I've caught fish. Why are you trying to say I haven't caught any fish? You don't want to say that. No, I haven't had an egg bite. Oh, you need an egg bite. You're trying to catch eggs? You want the eggs to bite? Mm-hmm. That don't make no sense. Mike, at no time during our YouTube careers has anything we've done on any of our videos ever made any sense. That's why people watch us. They're like, look at these senseless fools. I'm telling you, the minute you have me some type of food, someone's going to catch fish. What they do. Here's fish. My pole's over here going bump, 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 bump. Of and that's a keeper. Beautiful. Good job, Mike. See, I told you as soon as you reach for fish right or some food. I'm sitting here and I hear. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make this easy. That? I'm gonna grab some chips. Funny, guys. I'm gonna grab we didn't pack I didn't pack paper towels. Turn it. We'll grab some crackers. I just Grab a honey bun. Ooh, I got to crash your line. Okay, I'll let you guys get resituated. I just need to move my uh, I'm under. He's I'm from under. Oh, up. I popped up. Uh, okay. It hit it and let it go. I wonder if I got my minnow. Ooh, that's a Oh. <laughs> All right, good job, Mike. I watched him mouthing it. He was just barely mouthing. Woo! I'm like, that thing biting. All right. Good job, Mike. Got a white crappie. Crappie, crappie. Yeah, I'm getting out the snacks over here. See, you got the food out. They went nuts. Okay. Annie, who, who's bobber is that on that side? Oh, that's Mike. Our Annie, yeah, there it goes. It's going under, set the hook. Oh, there you go, that's a keeper. It in. Here you go, Mike. Oh yeah, there you go, Annie. Come on, that's baby. what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. There Woo! you go, good, good job, job, Annie. That's the crappy queen, she got her a black crappy. Crappy queen, Rex again. All right, so far, guys, it has been a good morning because, you know, anytime you can do that, it's a good morning. Remember? Oh, there we go. I'm under. Come on, Jim. Come on. Get it. Get it. Uh, it came back up. Ah. Got him. That is, oh, that's a decent fish. Does not not feel like a crappie, though. Oh, it's a crappie. I'm going to bring it over. Yeah. You bringing it over? Yep. Okay. There it is, y'all. Look at that, Mike. Annie, good call. All right. Got your nice black rubber. And then almost <laughs> and inhaled it. And I was, uh, what's that? From the tip of my pole down. That's how deep I am. About four foot. Four feet. All right, that's definitely a keeper. We are going to go and measure it, though. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just to be safe. Oh, yeah. Over 11 inches, y'all. All right, let's do that again. Yeah, it was kind of just slowly mouthing it, Mike. Mike, you're a bobber. See it? It's going under. Guys, Mike is on. Got him. That may be a keeper. Is the baby no net eat it? Okay. 
Nice. About nine and three quarters. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we'll catch them. They're in here. Just a matter of what they want to bite. That fast. That fast. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper all day. There we go, Mike. Oh. Okay. Nice. Right there in the front. Good job. Right at 10 inches. Beautiful. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, good lord. On the drop shot. Over here, babe. It's running. It's running. Oh, there we go. We gotta get. We gotta get it. It's around. It's around your anchor. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. That's a two pounder all day, brother. Look at that one. We gotta weigh that one. Hey, keep the excitement this one alive. I'm tucking a boat. I looked at my pole, alive. started, was like, yes. Okay, I'm like, your... good job, Mike. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Clip that on his lip. Make sure you're careful. 112. Really? That's it? Yep. Wow. Mm, nice. Look at that. That's about, good. A, that's about a 14 incher would be my guess. Okay. That is awesome. Okay. 15 inches exactly. Woo! The big crappie of the day. 15 inches, nice. Got him. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's a crappie. Drop shot. Right off the back of the boat. Look at that. Good job, Mike. Heard my pole nice. go, heard my pole go clunk. Mike, you're under, big time. Okay. Got him. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that crappy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Annie, I think I just uh, beat you for the smallest one. I think you did. Yep. <laughs> He's still on there. Yeah, I think he Got is. him. Oh, yeah. Come on. I, I don't need that. You don't need it? Nope. Happy. Beautiful black crappie. He's, spawning. <laughs> He's getting his tuxedo on, isn't he? Yep. Guys, that one's not going to keep, but that is beautiful colors. <laughs> Almost just doubled up on two fish. Well, why are you getting caught on brush? Because there's fish in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know for a fact he's not big enough, but we're just going to look. Yep, nine. They'll get bigger. So you have brush right there at five feet. See, those are crappie. Yeah. Nope, right on the pillar. I had a big one. I'm under already. Look at that. Good. Come on, get it, Jim. Got him. Oh, that's a better fish. That's another little crappie. Oh. You don't need the net. Nope. That won't be a keeper. I don't. I don't think that'll be a keeper. I don't know. Uh, check it. He might you be better right check at ten. It. Jim working on getting his limit. Yeah. I don't even know what I got. Oh, I saw I that, Mike. I, I thought you had one. In there. I, I keep don't knocking know. it off. Is what I'm all right guys that's a beautiful white crappie i don't believe that one's gonna keep i don't believe i don't believe nope nine and three quarters nine and three quarters go get bigger there's a healthy amount of small crappie right here yep well if you keep it on the bottom you'll catch a monster fish i don't know if it's gonna be a crappie he is down Oh, that's up. Oh, another crappie. That one's probably gonna be nine and three quarters. <laughs> that's the theme so far today. Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Mike must have went and got him some of that thump. Oh, there we go. It's going down like a crappie. Oh, that's a nice fish net, please. Come on. Anywhere I'm gonna bring it. Oh, that's oh, that's a nice crappie. It jumped. You see it? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good There we go. Woo -woo! That's a good, that's a <laughs> the next cast jar on fire. Uh, fire. I'm just getting lucky. Are you trying the other side of the dock over there that Mike's not on? I was playing with my drop shot. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Keep playing with your drop shot then. Well, I was getting a big one to come up to it and keep playing with it, but it didn't want it, so I don't there know we go, if those are dead or what. Another beautiful one. Oh, you got my line. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Wait. All right. Let's fish. measure that one. There you go. Let's dip you in some water. Here. 
pictures where you want it. That one is 11 and a quarter. Yeah, I'm just letting it, Mike, like you said, float down that rip wrap. Yep. And as it starts getting, because of the, the current's pushing this way. And as it's coming down that every now and then, you'll just see it go under. All right, y'all, this video is about just getting out and relaxing and having fun with family. If you want to do that, you get some poles, get some slip bobbers, get some live minnows, get out on the water and just have okay, fun. I like for one of these uh, drop shots to go down because that's where the big crop you're going to be. I know yeah. why. Mike, your your bobber's yeah, going under. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. It's running with it. Set the hook, brother. Get him. Got him. Nice. Yes. Darn it. That's a nice fish. Come on, Mike. Oh yeah. What you got? What you got? You got you himself a beautiful right. crappie. Yes. Come on. Look at the size of that thing. Yes. There we go. Oh boy, that's got a little bit of girth to it. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's measure it real quick. I'm gonna say right around 13. He ain't massively huge. He is 13 and a quarter. 13 almost 13 and a half. And a half. Mike, you're under. You're under. You are under. Which one? That one. There he is. <laughs> Good job. Good eyeballs, Jim. He was barely lipping in. I saw, I was like, he's under. Good, Good job, eyes. Mike. Sometimes you can wet the, oh, there we go. I'm under. Get it, Jim, get it. Oops, oh my. Got him. Okay. Got him. Oh, it came off. Oh, this is a nice fish. Annie, I'm bringing around this side. That's a bigger fish. Oh my God. That's my big one. That's my big mama. Here, give me the net. Yeah, I'll bring her to you. She's coming around this side. See her? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, big mama. Get here, get here. Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby. I asked where my big mama was. Mm-hmm, yeah. you sure did. That's a beauty. There you go, you got Look at it. that. Here we go, Outdoor Adventure oh, viewers. yeah, that's big mama. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. That is awesome. I gotta get set up so we can catch some fish. Well, I gotta get this back out there and see if she has a sister. Right? Guys, people call me a player when it comes to crappie fishing because I'll catch one and then I'll ask her if she has a sister. And people get mad at me. It just is what it is. Don't get mad. Just in, don't hate the player, just hate the game. That's right. <laughs> don't hate the player, hate the game. Those of you who are old enough, you'll know what that is. You youngins, don't worry about it. Ooh, I got her good right through the nostril. She is absolutely beautiful. She has 14, 13, and 7 eighths. Oh. Wow, look at all those crappie, guys. All right, y'all, let's talk setup. Today we are just going live minnow down to a slip bobber. Okay. On a number two or four wire hook, whichever one you want. And it's getting the job done, y'all. When these crappie are moving into spawn, even when they're not spawning, this is still one of the best ways to... To get them. Come with us. Go crappie fishing. It might be fun, they said. You might catch a fish or two, they said. Well, y'all, when people tell you, oh, it might be fun. You should do this. You should do that. Y'all might want to listen to them. Right? <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. down. He is down. Get it, Mike. Okay. Michael Joseph. Oh, that feels like a nice keeper. A big, fat keeper. A big, oh, big, yeah. fat keeper. It's a nice fish. Where's it going to? Okay, there you go. Hopefully it's coming. It's going through both your lines. Under your line. Oh, they're going to be playing the banjo music now. Oh, great. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Come on, baby. That's on, my, that's on my line. I'm catching that fish. <laughs> that's bigger than your first one, Mike. Boy, that's a beautiful fish. You're going to have to weigh fish. that one. I think that's bigger than your first one. Woo! Look at that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Look at it good, babe. Big old female. See, they're in here. It's just got to get them to bite. You know what I mean? They're just hitting random. Okay. Wow. So when you <gasps> do it, 
Close the mouth. Close the mouth. mouth. Close the mouth. Push it up against the bunk board. Push it Pinch up against the tail. It. Fifteen and a quarter. Fifteen and a quarter. There it is. Beautiful. Oh man, those are crappy steaks, guys. Hey y'all, check that out. The crappie queen is holding a fifteen and a quarter, one point one three ounce slab crappie. Yeah, Annie. Set the hook. You got it. You just got it. It's on there. What is it? Where's That's a crappie. You got a little baby crappy. Bring it on in, sister. Oh yeah, flip it up. Beautiful. And as always, the crappie queen has the first crappie. Uh, no, I'll do it on the board. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see that it is dark. Right off the bottom, I was jigging this Guggen Squad snacky swimmer and it absolutely inhaled it. Look at that. All right, let's get that one out. Am I under? I'm under, I'm under. Get it. Got him, got him. That's another fish. Yeah. That is, oh, that's it. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Mike, take this pole. That is the keeper. Look at that crappie. I'm gonna boat flip it in. Come on. That's a crappie. Ooh, that's that a is a beautiful that black spawning crappie. Spawning They're on the bottom, guys. They were on the bottom. How deep was that? Ah, uh, I'm about to show you. Oh. That's a beauty. That's what we came out here for. Can you reel mine in, please? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's go over here by the light. Yeah, let's we'll see. We're gonna measure it first. Oh, oh dude, that is 13 inches. 13 plus. <laughs> Minnows and bobbers. Let's get you some light on this subject. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yes, sir. All right, do we have water in that cooler? Y'all, we've never done a night release before. We're gonna do one now. Go get bigger. There it goes. Beautiful.